I'm George the Ink. This is the Kickstarter exclusive box for Lords of Ragnarok, and you're watching Getting Tabled. Hello future people and welcome to part 3 of the Lords of Ragnarok unboxing. In this one I will be going over the Kickstarter exclusives and extras. Uh, this will be the final video of this so thanks for tuning in and let's get this unboxed. Alrighty, this, is, oh stretch goal, sorry. That's right, this was not actually on Kickstarter, this was uh, on GameFound. Uh, Awaken Realms, it has for the most part moved to just uh, doing their stuff on GameFound. Uh, soon here, uh, at the time of this recording of the video, I think in a couple months, uh, Awakened Realms will be launching a uh, third Nemesis game on GameFound. Um, in the meantime, though, let's uh, check out the Ragnarok stuff. So, more rules, as I, I mentioned before. Here is the uh, the fifth player stuff, as far as the uh, dashboard, army, priest, ship, um, two temple miniatures. I'm wondering, I would assume so, but I'm wondering if we have enough temple miniatures, um, to replace the, uh, the cardboard ones. Uh, another realm, let's see, a couple more bosses, um, another monument. Oh look, I finally got something from Hell that's not from Mythic Games. Or something Hell. Uh, for those who've been watching and listening for a while, or just paying attention to the the gaming world, Mythic Games has really dropped the ball on a Kickstarter. But, uh, looks like an add-on for the map. One-sided. And this is probably, you know, for the extra space for the fifth player. Let's see. Two extra heroes you can play with, it looks like. And of course, more miniatures. More stacks. Alright, we'll go over the, the army first. So, you got... Got all the extra stuff. Um, here's a little priesty. Um, honestly, I think they should have included the yellow in the core box and done the gray as the uh, add-on extra. I think this is a much, much better color to do for part of the core game uh, instead of the gray. Uh, then you have all the, the nice vibrant colors in the core box and then you have the gray um, but that's uh that's fairly minor of course we got uh more monster cards the fifth player dashboard uh the boxing on this is really nice i mean this has its own cover this has its own cover um Couple more decks of cards. Let's see here. Oh, we got two, two more uh, monuments. So that is one of the heroes. I'm assuming that you can play as. Here's the other one. Um. I understand the choice that had to be made because that is an arrow, but I feel that that could have been done a little better, a little nicer. Uh, here we got some monsters. Again, I, I really like the uh, the mashup of the the sci-fi aesthetic along with the the mythical creatures and beasts. Um, is this Dwayne Johnson from Scorpion King? That, that's the vibe I get from this. <laughs> Actually, there's no there's no scorpion tail, so, but that is that is still really a, a cool, creepy mini. And finally, we got this big guy. Um, my guess is he's probably probably a little difficult to take out. And 
All right, let me grab the rule book here. It's down at the bottom. He said one was hell. Oh, Heimdall. Heimdall's the other monument. So, um, this is this is obviously Heimdall because, well, he's standing there over the the, the gate and stuff like that, and he's got the big sword. A um, little bent there. Looks like it could be straightened. That's a little bit of a reach in there to get the the head out of that. Uh, again, the cloak. Great detail on the cloak. These these minis just look really cool. I think the whole decision to to make them um, sci-fi and fantasy all at the same time, I think, was a, a really good one. Uh, finally, this must be the uh, the Heimdall, or not the Heimdall, the the Hell statue. Hell. And that looks really cool. Uh, all the all these little legs, um, the robot legs on top of that too. Let's see if we can get this back in the. Okay, she does fit in there. So, um, it's a fairly straightforward and simple box considering everything else you know we've already talked about. It's just a, a rinse and repeat of some things, you know, the dashboard, the army, et cetera, et cetera. So nothing too crazy. Uh, I will have to reach over here and, as I mentioned earlier, uh, get the, uh, the neoprene mat because we are gonna we are gonna talk about that a little bit. Alrighty, so this game mat is as wide or as tall as my desk mat here is wide. If that gives you any idea how big this is. So, uh, recently I did the, the Witcher. I mentioned how I was disappointed that the the mat did not have stitching on the uh, edges. Well, this does. Uh, I think if you're doing a, a mat that's neoprene, I think you absolutely have to do stitching. Um, let's see how. Oh, so this is this is pretty much a, a big square. Um, so right here, there's a dotted line. This looks like the, yeah, so right here it says this is for the fifth player. Um, two player. So what we've got over here. Ooh, and we've got spots over here for the, the decks. Do those exist over here and I miss those? Possibly. No, but this man, it, the detail on this is really good. Uh, I would put this, I would put this just as good as um, some of the actual printed game boards themselves. I, I am very curious now as to what the differences between the two the two sides are. Mm, and it has that fresh out of uh, fresh out of the bag neoprene smell. So, get this rolled back up. So my, my overall impression of this, as far as you know, the first looks out of the box, it looks really good. The detail is there, the quality is there. I mean, it is Awakened Realms, so I mean, it's not like this is their their first go around. They've they've done this before. Obviously, they've had some very successful games. Um, Nemesis, like I mentioned, a uh, very successful game. 
And then we've got the uh, ISS uh, Vanguard, which I know is on shelves. I did uh, my shipping in one, so I'm waiting for Wave 2 to be finished up and shipped. And then I will get the rest of the game, or get all of the game, I guess I should say. So I'm still waiting on that. I will do an unboxing of that when that shows up, despite that uh, already being at retail. Um, thanks for joining me on this. Uh, look forward to getting a game of this in, getting some of the stuff painted at some point. Um, until next time, play more games. Thank you very much for checking out this video. If you're enjoying the content of this channel, please like and subscribe. If you're in a position to do so, please check out patreon.com slash getting tabled. You receive early access to at least 80% of all videos that we put out and you get access to the video edition of all of our podcasts the day that they're uploaded. If you'd like to check us out on social media, facebook.com slash getting tabled is the most active. We also have a discord server. You can email our team at gettingtabled at gmail.com. If you're on either Twitter or Instagram, you can find us at getting tabled. And until next time, play more.